Well, San Diego's library system officially has a new director. Misty Jones has served as the interim director since July and now is taking over the job permanently. She served as the Central Library's deputy director and is also the president-elect of the California Library Association. And this comes at a time when the public library system is getting revamped all across the city. Last week, Mayor Faulkner announced library hours are expanding. And joining us now to talk about what's going on with the public library system, Misty Jones, the new director. Thank you. And yeah, thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. Now, you know, this is at a time when people kind of say, well, why are libraries relevant anymore? We all have yeah. smartphones, the internet, you know, at our fingertips. But I had actually had to read it twice. 5.6 million visitors a year. That is more than the Padres and Chargers combined. Absolutely. Yeah, we're <laughs> the best deal in town. <laughs> we, um, you know, libraries are actually being used more these days. Um, you know, circulation of books, check out of books is up. So, I mean, it really shows that, you know, libraries are still very well relevant to the community. We have more people coming in. They're more of a community space than kind of a book, you know, um, just a book storage anymore. So. Yeah, and it's not just books. I know you and I were talking uh, a little bit ago, and there's all sorts of music editing labs right. and different sorts of different sorts of resources yeah. that people can use. It's yeah. not just about books and, and information anymore. I, you it's know, really exactly. a knowledge center. It is. We say uh, the library is where knowledge lives, and so we have, you know, we have 3D printers, we have um, graphic design software, we have music, um, music editing, video production, uh, maker spaces. So you know, we're really staying on the forefront of technology and with what's happening. And of course, the new building, the new downtown Central yes. Library, is gorgeous. Thank you. Yeah, we're pretty proud. 30 oh. years in the making, so yeah, it's a dream to be there. What were some of the challenges in developing that new building and, and housing all of all of these resources that you were wanting to implement later on down the road? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we have to think. You have to continue to think in the future. So, um, you know, you can, you can build something, and as soon as you build it, there's going to be something new coming out. So we looked for a lot of flexible space, um, you know, really, and in, in trying to have areas to grow and to be able to offer new services. And I thought it was interesting, you had said the strength of libraries is their ability to redefine themselves for to fit the public need. Yeah. So absolutely. how how are you anticipating where where that need is going to be changing? Well we have to look at what the community wants from us. And so that's really one of the things that we're going to be doing is going out to the community and talking to them and asking them what services do they want from their library, what types of programs do they want from us? Because that is what we're there for. We're there for the public. And I asked you what your your first mission was going to be, and that's what you said really yes. was community outreach and yeah. finding out what our community needs. Right. We want them to participate. You know, it, it is really their library. It's the place of the people, so we want them to participate in that. Are you already getting feedback as, as to what people are hoping to see? Absolutely. You know, absolutely. We get feedback every day, but, you know, I mean, people really want so many different things, but they, you know, it's always computers and meeting spaces, but, you know, we're... The library is that trusted place for the public, so we want to just take that to the next step. Well, I know the public can look forward to some new, there are 35 branches, mm -hmm. and then, of course, the Central Library downtown, and some of those branches are going to be actually the whole new branches. Yes, so Skyline Hills um, and Mission Hills Hillcrest are the two branches that we have up, up and coming to be, uh, to be built soon, hopefully within the next three years. We'll have those. And then I'm hoping, you know, on the horizon we have San Isidro and San Carlos close behind. Because you were saying some of those are actually pretty small. Pretty small. Mission Hills is uh, about 4,000 square feet, so the new library would be 15,000. So big improvement for that well, area. It's nice to see that there is a, a healthy budget in place yeah. so that we can enjoy some of these uh, new resources down the road. Yeah, it's great. We're in a good place. Well, Misty Jones, congratulations on being named the new director, and we look forward to some of the changes ahead. Great. Thanks for having me here. Absolutely. Thanks.